Yo, what's up? It's your boy Dragon back with another tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to make what you see on the screen. So let's just screen to it. Basically, I'm gonna be showing you how to make it. it's gonna be an animated face cam overlay. It's gonna change colors, all the good stuff. I'm uploading two tone overlay tutorial two for the face cam. But if you got any request video, drop them in the comment section because I'm finna get back on my ground. Let's just straight into it. All right. All right. So once you get in here, you just wanna go to file new. Um, 1920 by 1080. Copy all these settings, then go to create. I do do this. You just keep that background. Create a new layer. Now, one way you can do it is you just go to your downloads, find any image that's 1280 by 720. Come here. I mean, hit Control C on that. Come here, Control V. What you can do after this, go blend options and make a stroke. And you can just do it this way and do the same method I'm about to show you. But I just do mine with the rectangle tool because it usually look better to me. But you want to go over here, right click, rectangle tool, just drag it across. After you drag it across, put your width to 1280 and hit enter and then put your height to 720. Now, if you have ever had this issue right here, just go over here, control C, come over here, hit control V. Basically what you can do, put this on the edge, hold shift and just drag it across like that. That's why I always have that image like a backup when I do it because that does happen a lot. If you know how to fix it, let me know in the comment section. But basically I do do this right here. When I go to your field, exit that out, then go to your stroke. Whatever color on your scroll don't matter, but just um add something on there. Now, like if you want to have it round, you can do this right here if you just want to mess with that. But I'm gonna just have mine all the way like that. That's how I've been rocking with mine the whole time. But once you do this right here, just close this out, and you can just go file export, export as, and after you do this, hit export again, and we just save this, save it face cam. Boom, just like that. Now I want to go into Adobe After Effects. If you need this or whatever, hit me up on Twitter. I got it in the description. Uh, or you can just type it in the comment section. I'll try to put you on how to get it. Now you want to go to File, Import, and then File. Once you do this right here, go to your Downloads. Go to the Face Cam. Import it. Drag it down. Just like this. And I forgot to tell you. Now you can do this on the 1280. I mean the settings I just showed you. I'm going to try to do it again. Go to my Composition Settings. You can do it on these settings, but it'll work better if you do 1920 by 1080 because obviously you put 1280 by 720 and 1280 by 720. Like, yeah, the mug ain't gonna be looking right, but just drag it down. It should go to the middle like that. What you can do, layer, auto trace, then hit OK like that. Go to Saber and you can just drag it down. Once you do this, go to your render settings, transparent, customize core, layer mask. And then your preset, put it on Art Reactor. Now this right here, um, basically you almost done with it. You feel me? You basically done with it. But yeah, you can just change the color. I ain't never did this color right here. That's just how you pick the color. You can do a whole bunch of settings with this right here, make it look cool, cause you don't really have to have your like everybody else. But yeah, um, I'm gonna just pick Art Reactor. Go with a simple one. Pick a random color. And it's a lot more stuff you can do with it. If you want a more advanced story on everything you can do to make the face cam look good, I'll drop one. I'll be glad to drop one. But I'm going to show you how to change the color real quick with a keyframe so you don't have to do all that extra stuff. So what you want to do is click on this. <laughs> Bruh, my bad. Y'all hear that jump. But, but click on this, and then you can change the color um to, like, another color. Then hit U. And bring it to 10. And then you can go back to the original color. Like, if you want to go back to the original color, what you would do is just go back to the start. And you would copy. And then you would come all the way down here. And then change it. But as you can see, like, the color already changing. Like, that right there. So, if you want to set another frame right here, hit U. And then you would have to go back to the start. Go up in here. Paste that color. And do that. But you gotta find it. You paste you paste the orange color and then do that right there. But you can go back to 15 and then bring the color back. Now it did change the red by itself, so I really can't fix that, but you'll see what I'm talking about when I explain the color change. So it'll go to orange, then come back to red like that right there. So the color will change. Now if you want to more end up color change, I already got that. I'm gonna drop it in the comment section. But basically that's how you make it. Now what you want to do is go to export, add to Adobe Media Encoder. And once you do this, I'm gonna show you how to export. All right, so how you export? You just come here, click on this, and you want to go to uh, wherever you want to put it at. You just change the name. I'm just change the face cam 
tutorial or whatever like that. I think I already got one, but you just want to click on it to render it. Now it's already rendered, but I'm gonna show you how to put it in OBS. So you want to click on this media source, okay? And you want to loop it, and you just want to go down here and just find the file. So I'm gonna just type in face cam because I know I got some. So there's probably one right here. Yeah, so this is face cam right here. So yeah, that's how you actually add the face cam. But if you enjoy the tutorial, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and be my dragon. Peace out.